Hey, hey, Farmer MD here. So, in case you have not noticed, what I have been trying to do the last couple of months is to only post once a week, and I am trying to get on a regular schedule and uh, post only one video per week on the weekend. So, uh, until further notice or until we get more content, I will probably uh, continue doing that at least through the winter. I may post some shorter videos in between, uh, less than five minutes long if I've got something interesting happening, but otherwise uh, I'll, I'll try to do the longer videos once a week uh, with some good editing to keep it interesting for you. And uh, while I'm at it, let me give a shout out to uh, my poor farmer friends, especially Mr. Lion. Uh, he uh, didn't do so well this year with his uh, corn and soybean yields, um, kind of down in the dumps the last time I talked to him. So this is a shout out to Mr. Lyons. Uh, hope to see you out there snow plowing this winter. Okay, I hope you uh, continue to enjoy the content uh, that I post, uh, as I said, once a week uh, on the weekends. That will happen. Okay, stay tuned for more. Hey, hey. So I've only got a couple of days left in No Shave November before I can uh, get rid of this, and I'll be glad because it's at the point it's really bothering me now. But a shout out to Z's Lawn Care for pointing me in the right direction for another accessory for my pickup truck. Uh, still getting ready for the snow. So I needed to add a flashing light, uh, beacon light, revolving light, whatever you want to call it, uh, on my pickup truck that I'm going to use to plow snow and spread salt with. I didn't want to drill holes in the cab of my truck got a magnetic mount light, a low profile LED. But the problem was, since it is low profile, it sat too low on the hood of the truck. It wasn't gonna be as visible. So Z's Lawn Care put me uh, onto Backrack, backrack.com. So I have installed a headache rack on my pickup truck here. Very easy install. A uh, special bolt that went down in the pocket of the truck. Uh, you bolt it onto the side here. The bolt came up. Two brackets. Not sure if you can see this. Uh, a, a plate that sits on the top of the bed rail here. And then another plate that holds the headache rack itself on. So that is the bolt coming up through the stake pocket and then a single bolt here on either side holding the headache rack on. So I was just after a plain simple rack and I got the, uh, the light bracket so I can put the light, uh, mount the light on here. So I, I, I do like this. It's a simple bracket, um, it's very sturdy. It's gonna do the job. So the other thing I need to do is install uh, a light for the salt spreader. I want to be able to see the salt coming out of the back. So what I'm going to do is get a couple of LED lights and mount somewhere either on the top here or or here on the side so um, inside. But I just want two LED lights to go on either side uh, in order to shine towards the back of the truck so I can see uh, the spreader. So hopefully, based on the way the spreader sits in the truck, a light up here or up here or maybe mounted on the side here, uh, kind of going out that way, will give me enough light to see that. Uh, so I do, this is a cigarette lighter plug for this light at the moment. What I'm going to do is hardwire it um, and come down through the channel here with the wires we have um, upfitter switches in the truck. We've got five upfitter switches, so we don't have to run the wires through the firewall. Uh, Dodge has a, an access point in the engine compartment, and then I can um, wire it right in there, use the switches in the trucks. I like the way this thing installed, uh, backrack.com. 
the only issue that I saw with it is the bolts for this bracket here were not long enough. The ones that they sent me were only two inches. I needed an additional inch and a half longer bolts, but that's not a problem because, hey, I own a hardware store. We sell bolts there. Uh, so that wasn't a problem to get two more bolts to go in there. I like the way it installed. I like the looks of it. Um, so uh, we'll get these LED lights. I haven't found the ones I want yet. I have an idea of, of the type that I want. I've just got to look for them. So um, I think Z's Lawn Care just put a couple on his truck. I like those. So um, those are probably the ones I'll consider. Okay, I think we've got everything installed here on our back rack. Uh, got the lights on, got them wired the way uh, the way I would like to have them. Uh, we uh, finished that up yesterday evening. Uh, Jeffrey helped me with that. Uh, but as you can see, I've got the LED lights mounted here. Simple U-bolt um, on top of the back rack. And we've got the light bracket here with the LED low, pro low profile uh, caution light on it. Uh, as you can see, I've got that on now. Uh, had to drill a few holes in the, in the back rack here to get our wires um, to run through, come out uh, down here. And then we've got them tied off here, going down, running along the chassis up to the engine compartment. And uh, from there, I think I mentioned this earlier, uh, I've got upfitter switches in the truck. They came that way from Dodge. Uh, makes it real easy. No wires to run through the firewall to mount switches in the truck. Uh, the switches are already there built in uh, to the dash. Um, so Dodge uh, or Ram, I guess they are called now. Ram uh, gives you a bundle of wires um, to wire whatever you need to uh, in the engine compartment. So no wires through the firewall into the uh, into the cab. So it makes it real nice. Based on my measurements, my salt box is going to uh, come up to about here if I have the measurements right. So as you can see, the lights will be just a hair above the salt box. So I should be able to see inside the salt uh, spreader at night. But the main reason for these LED lights was to see the spread pattern behind me to make sure um, the salt is coming out, it hasn't bridged up. So we hope uh, that's going to do the trick for us. This, uh, I put this bracket on the back rack in order to raise this light up. I, and the other thing is I did not want to drill any holes or mount anything on the cab of the truck and uh, scratch the paint up. So this has raised the light up about six inches so it gets it up above the salt spreader. Should be a good visibility uh, all the way around. Um, but I'm very pleased with the installation uh, of this. Um, so uh, we'll see how it uh, goes uh, once we get our first snowfall. And as you can see, no shave November is over with, so uh, I have cleaned up a little bit nicer now, and I'm back to being sexy farmer again. I am about to load some wood pellets on the back of the truck for delivery for a customer. I just wanted to bring you up to date on the back rack and the LED lights uh, that we've got installed on here. It's another beautiful day here in Southern Maryland. It is a bit cooler, uh, about 52 degrees, uh, 55 degrees right now. So um, I think the cool weather is now here to stay. No complaints, uh, getting everybody into the Christmas spirit uh, first week of uh, December. Uh, speaking of the Christmas spirit, I'm a bah humbug type of person, but uh, I am not one of those happy holidays. It's Merry Christmas, damn it. So, um, no, don't don't get all politically correct on me with that happy holidays crap. Even at my hardware store, my employees are instructed to say Merry Christmas, damn it, or no, Merry Christmas. I add the damn it to it myself just because I'm a Baja person and
that political correct crapness and happy holidays crap. No. Merry Christmas, damn it. Anyhow, that's enough of that rant. Uh, so let me get these wood pellets loaded up and uh, get them delivered since it is uh, cooler now. I'm sure the customer uh, would like to have heat in their house tonight. All right. See ya.